Hey is day 131. The story of Suhaib. Suhaib was one of the Muslims who still remain in Mecca, and just because he was Muslim, the pagans tortured him. He too wanted to migrate to Medina. He had missed the Prophet very much. He made the preparations and left with his family. The pagans immediately set out in search of him and caught up with him. They said, Stop, Suhaib. When you came to Mecca, you were very poor. You became rich by our favors. Now you have all your wealth and you are leaving us? We will not permit this. Suhaib was very brave. He immediately got off his camel. He took his arrows out of his bag and shouted at them. You know I am a sharp shooter as an archer. My arrows do not miss their targets. If you try to prevent me from living, I will use all my arrows, and when they are finished, I will take my sword and I will fight all of you. Don't you dare come near me. The idol worshippers were scared, but they did not intend to let him go. If he wanted to help, Suhaib could have thrust his sword into their bellies. He could have killed all of them. He thought for a moment about what the Prophet would do in such a situation. He was a Prophet of peace. He wouldn't be in favor of violence. Then Suhaib should not do it either. He should be able to find another way to escape from their hands. He collected himself, thought for a moment, and offered them something they couldn't refuse. He said, In order to go to the Prophet, I'm willing to leave all of my wealth with you. The idol worshippers were surprised at this offer and were pleased to hear it. We agree, leave your wealth to us and then go wherever you wish, they said. So Haib gave them all the money he had with him and left all his belongings with them too. With complete peace of mind, he set out for Med- for Medina. After a long and tiring journey, he arrived at Cuba. He encountered a lot of difficulties on the way though. His eyes were aching. The pain had started on the trip. Maybe because of a sandstorm or the bright sunlight, he was tired and weak. The Prophet and his companions held him in a tight embrace because they had missed him so much. As a present, they gave him some fresh dates, the famous produce of Medina. Suhaib was very hungry. He started eating the dates very fast, one after another. This captured the attention of Umar. He wanted to have some fun and joke with Suhaib. Oh, Messenger of Allah, do you see Suhaib? He had pain in his eyes, yet he is eating fresh dates. The Prophet asked Suhaib, Oh Suhaib, you say you have a pain in your eye, but you are eating fresh dates. How is that possible? Suhaib responded very cleverly, Oh Messenger of Allah, I'm eating on the side where my eye doesn't have pain. His this humorous and clever answer pleased the Prophet so much that he smiled at Suhaib. After a short rest, Suhaib explained to the Prophet all that happened during his journey. He said in brief, By giving away my wealth, I saved myself and my family from the hands of the pagans. The Prophet smiled and said, Suhaib is the gainer. Suhaib is the gainer. O father of Yahya, you have earned a great profit in your trade. There was some good yet there was a special meaning in his statement. Suhaib had sacrificed all his wealth, but in return, he had gained the praises of the Prophet. He felt at that moment that there was no one happier than he in the whole wide world.